try to solve some equations of different types. So this is a very simple equation. Seems to be simple, but uh, students tend to do lots of mistakes when we when you see an equation like this. Okay. So the question is x is equal to 1 plus 12 over x. So you have to find a find a value of x. It can be 1 or more than 1. So yeah, what can I do? Whenever you have a fraction, my first aim would be to make the denominators equal. So I'm going to write the next step like this. x is equal to 1 is same as writing x over x plus 12 over x. So the denominators are equal, so you can add the numerator. So this is x is equal to, this is the same as 12, x plus 12 over x. Now I want to get rid of this x from this side. So I'm going to multiply this side by, so let me use a different color. Mm, I'm going to multiply this side by x. So if I multiply this side by x, Oops, so to multiply this side not by 3, multiply this side by x, so you do the same thing to this side. So this is times x. So this becomes x times x is x squared is equal to this x and this x gets cancelled. So you got x plus 12. So let us change this into quadratic equation. So taking away x and taking away 12 from both sides or bringing this to this side, whichever way you understand. So this is nothing but x squared minus x minus 12 is equal to 0. Okay, so now this is a simple quadratic equation. So this is x uh, and x. I'll start with x. So which are the two factors of 12, negative 12 which gives you negative 1? So it has to be negative 4 plus 3 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 4 or x is equal to negative 3. So I need to check my answer always. It's a good practice to go back and that's the real learning where you go back and put your answer back into the equation. So one x that I got is 4. So does the answer 4 make sense? So what we are saying is 4 is equal to 1 plus 12 divided by 4. So we are saying 4 is equal to 1 plus 12 divided by 4 is 3. So this does make sense. So this is one simple equation. Okay, so when x is negative 3, what happens? When x is negative 3, when x is negative 3, I'm saying negative 3 is equal to 1 plus 12 divided by negative 3. So what happens? Negative 3 is equal to 1 take away 4. And this also makes sense because 1 take away 4 is negative 3. So that's why you get two answers here. Okay, let's look at this equation. Now here, I'm going to use the method called completing square. Or you can also, okay, do by come uh, perfect... Uh, by using the quadratic formula. So completing the square, I'm going to write this as x squared minus 4x. And I'm going to write, uh, I'll leave a space here, is equal to 5 here, is equal to negative 5 here. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken away 5 from, if you take away 5 from this side, you have to take away 5 from this side. So this and this gets cancelled. So I left a space here. Now, to make it a perfect square, what should I add on this side? I should have 4. Now, how do I do that? You do half of negative 4. Half of negative 4 is negative 2. So let me show you that. So first you half negative 4. So 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. The ne next thing that you do is negative 2 squared is 4. So you're adding 4 to this side. So you have to add 4 to the other side. So this becomes x minus 2 the whole squared is equal to negative 1. Now negative 1 
Now, if you know you by definition, i is a complex imaginary number. i, this is by definition, i is square root of negative 1. i is square root of negative 1. So i squared is negative 1. So this is in fact a definition. i squared is negative 1. So in place of negative 1, I can put i squared. So can I say this is x minus 2 the whole squared is equal to i squared. Okay, so therefore I can say x, x minus 2 is equal to plus plus. You can take, you're taking square root of both sides, so let me do that. Therefore, can I say square root of x minus 2 squared is equal to plus or minus square root of i squared. So I can say x minus 2 is equal to plus or minus i. So your final answer is x is equal to 2 plus or minus i. And these are the two roots, and we'll confirm this on a calculator. So we can say x is equal to our first root, or x1 is 2 minus i. And the other root is, the second root is 2 minus i. So let us use a calculator to check this answer. So go to equation and let me delete it. Yes, so second degree, your coefficient was a is 1, b is, uh, b is negative 4, and c is 5 is 5 and then you solve. So no real root, I have to change the setting. So let me go and change my setting. It has to be, I want, not in real, I want in A plus B I form. Okay, so now let me solve. So you got 2 plus I and 2 minus I are the two roots. Okay, next question. Log base 10 of 4x minus 2 is equal to 1.5. So let me write the log rule. If log base x of, so let me use base b, log base b of x, if it is y, this is the log form, this implies b to the power of y is equal to x, and this is the exponential form. So let us write this in an exponential form. So can I say 4x minus 2 is nothing but 10 to the power 1.5. Okay, so this is 4x. I'm adding 2 to both sides, so 4x is 2 plus 10 to the power 1.5. 1.5, I'm going to divide both sides by 4. So x is 2 plus 2 plus 10 raised to 1.5 divided by 4. So let's use the calculator. So this is menu. I'll go to run. So I'll put this in the bracket. 2 plus 10 raised to 1.5. Close the bracket. Divide by 4. Which is 8.41. Okay. As in two decimal places. 8.41. So x is. 8.41 in two decimal places. Okay, so now I think, uh, now this is an exponential form. Let us take log of both sides. Okay, so I can say log, you can also take natural log, so na log of 4 raised to x minus 3, 4 raised to x minus 3, is equal to log 36. I'm taking log of both sides. So using the log rule, this can be dropped down. The rule says log of x to the power n is n log x. You can refer to the log rules. I have made proofs of these rules. You can refer that and this is the power drops down. So I can say x minus 3 
log 4 is equal to log 36. Now dividing both sides by log 4, so I can say x minus 3 is equal to log 36 divided by log 4. Now you may have a temptation to cancel the logs, but please don't do that. You can't cancel the log. Log 36 is a number. So log and 36 are not two different things. This is one whole thing. So you can't cancel the logs. So x, in other words, so let me finish it off. So x is 3. x is equal to, we'll use the calculator to figure this out. So x is equal to 3 plus log 36 divided by log 4. So let us get the calculators out. So which is 3 plus log 36 divided by log 4, which is 5.58. So the value of x is, you can say, let me scroll down, x is equal to 5.58 in two decimal places. Hopefully these videos have been helpful. Uh, uh, hopefully uh, you will use these videos. See you in the next video.